What's up YouTube? This is Blaine with Mod Addict and um, here's an update for my uh, my digital instrument cluster. Stay tuned. What's up guys? Uh, I know I've been getting actually a few comments on updating my instrument cluster build. And uh, I know I was making really good progress on it for a little while, and then all of a sudden nothing. Well, I bought a house and had to move and got a new job and had to uh, change all of that up, so I didn't really work on the cluster much. Um, but I know I haven't shown y'all what it can do because it does somewhat work. Uh, I have put it in the car and tested it out a little bit, which I will show you guys. And um, yeah, so I've got it right over here. I'll uh, put the camera down and show y'all exactly what it is, what it can do, and I'll explain what I've done and why I've done it. All right, guys. So here's the cluster. Here's my seven inch. It is a touch screen, LED screen. Um, I can't remember the resolution. I'd have to look it up. But um, And this is the factory instrument cluster housing for my 2004 Mitsubishi Lancer. Um, I, of course, have cut it up, pulled it apart, and taken all of the guts and everything out of it to mount the screen and run wires and everything through it as I uh, needed to. So what I've got... As you can see here, these, whoop, this, I'll do it one at a time, are little removable. This is the front plastic, clear plastic piece that covers pretty much every cluster out there. And I measured and cut it just to cover up the sides, to cover up all these holes and just make the screen look good. And then it also covers up the, uh, HDMI cable and the uh, screen power cable so that you don't see those while it's going and let me pull this apart and here is the computer it's uh, the kangaroo Windows 10 mini PC it is a full-fledged Windows 10 um, PC in this tiny little case um, I bought it. I think it cost me a hundred bucks to buy this. The screen was I think $45 or something like that and it came with the cables and everything I needed. Um, so I'm in it I would say 150 bucks. So not too bad for a custom digital cluster. So I had this to begin with a little Raspberry Pi and um, it did great but it is Linux based and not Windows based so none of the programs that I needed to work with my car like my tuning software and then the gauge cluster software wouldn't work so I had to go Windows based instead of Linux based so that's the whole reason behind me getting the kangaroo Windows 10 PC to run Windows programs instead of Linux programs so we get logged in, and then it is a normal PC. So the two, uh, now my gauge cluster software and then my tuning software. So we'll go with the gauge cluster software first. Takes a little bit for it to uh, start up but I'm using a program called Dash Command. Um, it came out as an app a long time ago, and I used it on my iPod, and I got a Bluetooth connector for an OBD, and I would use it through my iPod. And then I learned that they have Windows actual software that you can use that works the same. So you can load it up, and pull up your gauge cluster and I downloaded 
this LFA style cluster. And I like the way it looks. Gives you your water temps, your intake temps, your speed, RPM, and just everything that you need to know about it through um, the OBD port. And then you can click it and change colors and everything. And then you can back out and you can run diagnostics. If you have a check engine light, you can pull codes, clear codes, and it tells you what's wrong. And you can go in and set up different vehicles and everything like that. And then you can also data log. So you can go in and record all of your vehicle's vitals and how it's working during that period of time. So if you're tuning or anything like that, that's what you would use data logging for. Very useful software and I like it a lot. And you can always change the skins of your uh, cluster. And then you can go in and then I have my tuning software, which isn't very fancy. But I can go in whenever I need to. Oh, and the co other cool thing is this uh, Kangaroo has Wi-Fi. So it can connect to any Wi-Fi in the area that you can get access to. So you can get on the internet and all of that, like a normal PC. So here's my tuning software. I can go in and I can connect to my ECU and tune and change my maps and all of that good stuff and data log through what would technically be my instrument cluster. So that was the whole point, was to have an a dual purpose instrument cluster, something that would tell me how fast I was going and I could read codes and all of that. And also, I can go in and instead of having a separate laptop in my car, I can go in and tune through my instrument cluster. Now, I'm So, that's pretty much it for the cluster. Like I said, you can go in, and you can get on the internet because the kangaroo has Wi-Fi and it's actually pretty quick for how small of a computer it is um, it does have a built-in battery so it comes with an AC charger so you can charge it um, I'm gonna figure out how to keep it plugged in at all times in the car and to where I can pull it and take it out of the car as I need to so it doesn't stay in the car and get heated up with the Sun and because Heat kills electronics. So that's pretty much the gist of the cluster. Um, I know you guys want to see it working in the car. So we'll go outside, connect it up to the car, and um, I'll show you how it works there. Hey, what's up guys? Uh, we're outside in the car for, you guessed it, the cluster. So I got it installed, and uh, everything is going good. I got it. Computer is over here. Mouse and keyboard just to get things going right now. Um, I downloaded an app on my phone for uh, a wireless mouse keyboard that I can connect to it and use my phone to do everything instead of having to have an actual mouse and keyboard. But I'm having trouble getting it actually to work properly. So we're just going to go this way for the uh, video and uh, I'll get my phone working somehow um, and excuse if I sound weird talking I've got a uh, I bit my tongue got a bad uh, sore on the side of my tongue so it's actually pretty hard to talk um, but yeah I mean the clusters in it looks good I like it I mean it's legit how many cars Besides brand new expensive cars, can you get in that have a full screen where you're at? And I don't have the uh, cover in yet because uh, I'm not going to keep this in here for now because I'm planning on selling the car. So I'll probably sell this separately and put the original cluster back in it. But since I have so many uh, people wanting to actually see this thing work and uh, all that goodness, here we go. So, it is in, and it's running full Windows 10. Let's see, your glare is horrible. Oh, that's good. It's hard to film in the car. So, the car is off right now. I'm going to open up dash command. I 
I'm gonna go through its thing. So I have my HDMI and USB port running down underneath the car here and running over and then going into uh, the computer here. Um, if I was gonna keep it in the car, I would mount it more permanently somewhere else. And right now, I just have a little um, cigarette lighter power port to actually power the screen because the computer only has a couple of USB ports which are taken up by the mouse and keyboard at the moment. So here we go, here's this. And I'm gonna have to unplug the keyboard to plug in my OBD port. So we're plugged in, which means we should be able to connect. And watch the little red dot up at the top. There we go. We are connected. You see it is right there. Boom, connected. So, we can go in, open up the dashboard, and since the car is off, it's not reading anything. But, we go ahead, it's gonna be loud. I have a really bad exhaust leak at the moment. So we can go ahead and start the car. that the actual gauge or cluster shows. Like it won't show my engine load and it won't show my accelerator pedal percentage. But you can always go in, a lot of cars will do it differently, but you can go in and actually pick different ones. So it's pretty cool. Then I can change this from blue to white. I actually like the blue better. And let me close my garage because my garage is wide open. Let me do that and we will go for a little cruise and I will try my best to get the uh, cluster in action for you guys. All right guys. Garage is shut. Let's see how horrible I can make this video. Okay. It doesn't give me gear indicator. Of course, because my car is too old to have gear indicators. But it does read mile per hour and all that goodness. at night, huh?
there you go guys um, that is my custom instrument cluster LCD screen computer touchscreen yeah it's it's pretty cool I think it's awesome it's a probably one of the only one of its kind in a car like this I wish I could actually keep it and turn it into a race car but life happens so I got to get rid of the car so selling the car probably will sell the cluster soon afterwards um, hope you guys like the video uh, hope you think this is cool let me know uh, what you guys think down below uh, yeah thanks for watching guys this is a uh, blend with mod addict and uh, I'll see you in the next video peace